Hello friends, welcome again to the Navis Kitchen. And if you've joined us for the very first time today, I want to say a warm, warm welcome to you and thank you so much for joining us today. On the menu today is our seafood meatballs. Yes, indeed. We are combining some really fresh, vibrant ingredients, bringing the whole recipe to life. I can't wait to begin, so let's go to the kitchen and get started. Yes, my top time friends, I have a combination and a variety of seafood here. So let's go over our ingredients really quickly. First, I have a cup full of prawns or shrimp, deveined, shelled, and also heads removed and cleaned thoroughly. That's all gonna go into the food processor. Then I have scallops. Scallops have a mild ocean flavor. It's going to bring us a nice structure too so we can form our seafood meatballs. I have six of those. Then I also have cod. This cod is up, uh, half a pound of cod. Cod has a white fillet. It doesn't fall apart easily, so it maintains its structure. Um, again, we want to be able to form the meatballs so it's important what kind of fish and seafood you choose. Now, we have a whole lemon, but I'm using a third of its juice. So I get that drizzled in to bring us that citrus flavor. And then I also have a quarter teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste. Now this here is melted butter and it's a tablespoonful of. Now I have some salt to season with. The amount you use is per your own preference. I'm using a quarter of a tablespoon. Now I also have a quarter of a teaspoonful of black pepper and half a teaspoon of white pepper. This combination of ingredients will help us to retain that fresh ocean flavor without masking any of these flavors. So that's important in this recipe. Now I am grinding smoked dry shrimp. This is actually homemade. The link um, uh, to the video is below, so check it out. Now I've also added a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, okay? Now that's going to give us a mild yellow color, but that, uh, more importantly, the combination of the turmeric, the black pepper, and the lemon juice helps to uh, manage illnesses such as depression, um, arthritis. Do some research and you'll be amazed at what you find regarding what this combo does. Now I've also cracked two eggs and used only the egg white in this um, recipe. That's gonna help us to maintain that structure so we're able to form our meatballs. So I've reserved the yolk. I'll incorporate it in a di different recipe at a later date. See what I'm talking about, that structure? Perfect. Now we're going to add some freshness here. I have Fresno chili. You can use your scotch bonnet or habanero. I have removed the seeds and chopped it finely. I have three sprigs of scallions or spring onions also chopped finely. One whole shallot chopped finely. And I also have coriander leaves or cilantro. That's about one fifth of a cup. All chopped finely. That's all gonna go in, bring us that nice fresh fragrance and a pop of color. We want that freshness in this recipe here. So it's time to just mix, 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 and no worries about over mixing or overworking this mixture. It will continue to maintain its structure because of the egg whites in there, okay? And the kind of seafood we chose. So mix and get it very well combined. And now we are ready to form our seafood meatballs. Exciting. Now, while that's happening, we're going to heat up our oil on medium heat because we are going to deep fry these. I have some breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs are actually from my butter bread. Okay, so I had some leftover that kind of got old. I dehydrated in the oven and crushed them to form breadcrumbs and voila, homemade breadcrumbs. Doesn't get better than that, does it? Now, you use your ice cream scooper so you can get, get the same size throughout. Scoop um, 
an amount into your breadcrumbs and get it nicely coated and uh, roll it in your palms and get it formed into the meatball shape. Get that done and then we're ready to fry. Look at these, they're gonna be delicious. And the fragrance of them, absolutely to die for. Now layer it gently into your heated oil. Be careful to not over mix it once it gets into the oil. Don't overwork it because you will lose the breadcrumbs. We want a nice crunchy outer layer. Perfect, just look at those. It's gonna take about four minutes to fry these beauties to perfection. And that is the color you want, that beautiful golden color. Delectable, yes, indeed. And see that pop of color coming through, just beautiful. You can put some toothpicks into these and serve them as a finger food, you know, for a happy hour, you have friends coming over. You know, you can impress, do some impression with this right here. Done. Now let's look at how moist these are. Look at the pop of color. Look at how juicy it is. Perfection, right there. Try this recipe and pair it with whatever you want. Thank you for watching, make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.